the range and out hunting and everything, how many lions do you think you've seen without dogs? You just see them out there. Oh, I've probably seen four or five. Yeah. That's, you know, and most of them was just when we were either elk hunting or working cattle or something. We saw a lion one time over here in deer season and I, they're pretty secretive, you know, you never, they, when they see you, they just crouch down behind a bush or hide or something like that because we saw one, we come over a hill late one evening just as the sun was going down and we met a lion coming around the trail to us and in an open hillside and he, he broke to run and run across the canyon and we saw him go out in, in this ledge over there and go behind the bush and so these guys wanted me to kick him out, so I decided I'd go up the canyon and come around the hillside to where he was at, and I came back around that hillside, and I knew right where he was at, and I rode up there and looked off that ledge, it was about three or four foot high, and he was hid down in behind that bush there, and he never would have moved again if I hadn't made him get up. And then, you know, one day when I was hunting with Clay Lee over there on the blue, he sent me and Justin Marks up the road to it had come a little old powdery snow up there one morning and he said go up that road and see if those lines have crossed that hot of that road if you can find where they crossed in that saddle up there and and then we'll know which side of the road to hunt on today because the day before we had trailed them on this one side of the road and he said we'll go back over there if they haven't crossed so we went up that road and we got up there to a cut in the road where they took the dozers when they built that road and cut a big bank off of there and there was something that jumped off of that bank and come off of that bank and hit in the road and then went off of the hill there and, and Justin stopped and we got to looking and a deer had come off of this real bad place there and running and I told Justin, I said, well, it, that don't look normal for that deer to come off of that bank like that, you know. So I said, there's something scared him there and we, I was walking down the road and I said, well, here's where a line come across the road right here after that deer, you know. And, and he's standing out there on the bank and he said, well, there's the lion right there. <laughs> he's right there under the bank, you know. He just couldn't have been a few minutes in front of us. And I had my dogs in the back of the truck and Clell was back down there with the horses. And so I said, let's turn the dogs loose. So we turned the dogs loose right there and they took off there and got them started. And they run that thing about two miles before they treat it, and I left their foot following the dogs thinking they was going to treat him right quick, you know. And, and then Clell had that hunter down there, and that hunter told Clell, he said, I can hear some dogs barking up there. And, and Clell said, no, they're not running anything. They've, them boys have stopped, and they're looking at something, and those dogs are just barking in the back of the truck. So that hunter didn't say any more, and pretty soon he told Cloud, he said, well, those dogs that I hear are coming down this ridge across from us now. And Cloud, he really got excited then. He said, oh, they've turned out on the line. They've turned out on the line, you know, and he got all excited. And it was quite a deal. That, but as far as just seeing them, you hardly ever see one. Yeah. I know I saw one one time on a sheep hunt. I was glassing the hillside about daylight one morning and and just happened to pick up a lion walking around the hillside, you know, and I watched him for quite a while. And I went back and got Leonard Hudson and his dogs because it was up there by his house. And we went up there and those dogs trailed that thing like it's a week old because he was sneaking around that hillside, you know, and they couldn't hardly trail it at all. And he kept asking me, you sure that was a lion? I said, I know it was a lion. I said, <laughs> and he didn't think it was, but it, you know, we found some tracks there and it was a lion, but it's just, it's, you just don't see them very often. And the only reason you'd see one like that is with these high powered binoculars that they got now, you know, and just happened to pick him up as he was coming around the hill. Yeah. I think I've seen three in, in my lifetime and, and that was, back in the 60s when I was doing a lot of deer hunting, and that's when I saw them, but only three. I think it was J. Frank Doby, and, and when he wrote the book about the legend of Ben Lilly, he said that, quoted Ben Lilly as saying that lions are sometimes uncommonly cautious. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. You know, the minute they see you or see something, everyone I've ever been around, they just crouch down. Just like a house just cat. Just like a house cat. Even when the dogs have them bait on a ledge or something and they'll see you coming, they may be laying out there, but they'll see you coming and then they'll kind of crouch down, you know, and try to 
try to hide themselves where you can't see them and they're watching you to see if you see them or not, you know. Yeah. 